Hello everybody and welcome back to Leo's NAB Challenge final series. This is going to be interesting. We have got the top eight teams from Leo's NAB Challenge and we've put them all into a final series and it's going to be very, very interesting. So we've got the top eight teams. Uh, the ladder that was shown at the end of the best moments video, I'll put it on screen now. We've got the top eight teams going through to the final series, and they are Essendon, GWS, Geelong, Port Adelaide, Gold Coast, Fremantle, St Kilda, and Melbourne are all going to be going through to the final series. Now, the first game of the final series is going to be happening right now, and that is the first qualifying final between Essendon and Port Adelaide. So that's going to be a very, very good game. And the winner of this one will go straight to the preliminary finals, and the loser will play uh, one of the winners of the elimination finals coming up soon. So those uh, games will be coming up soon. But today our focus is on Essendon v Port Adelaide. The first qualifying final, the winner goes straight to the prelims. And if they win that one, they're going straight to the grand final. Let's cross live to the commentary team in Melbourne. Let's go. And this is going to be a good one. Let's cross over to him now. Welcome to the MCG for the first qualifying final between the Essendon Mommers and the Port Adelaide Footy Club. Packed house in tonight. Five minutes on the board and we're getting the game underway. This is going to be a good one. Who is going to be going through to the preliminary finals in this game? Already a top down and throwing the ball. Throwing the ball against Kane Corns. We haven't seen that one. And now the Mommers are going to go inside the forward. But it's going to the forward pretty. Four onto one. And he won the four onto one. So first chance for the Bombers, got it. Bill Chambers kicks a goal. So the Bombers have a chance of going inside the forward duty here. About 60 metres out, chips it to the 50, and it's a mark. Well, this could be super goal territory. It could be. We are playing with uh, NAB Challenge rules. Kicks on the way. Oh, and it's marked right on the line. Bangs it along to the middle of the ground. That's a good kick to Kane Corns. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a big mouth on the footy show. Kicks it inside the 50. And that's a mark to Monfries. So we've got three and three quarters of a minute to put this through. Kicks on the way. And he equalizes. And it's six all in the first qualifying final. So Port Adelaide are going to try and look forward here with three minutes to go on the board. Three minutes to go on the board. He kicks it inside the board. 50. West off. So the now retired footy player is going to have a chance to get Port in the lead. Takes no time at all. And he puts it through the middle. Port kicked two in a row. And they're going to have a chance to get a go. Oh, Bell Chambers breaks out of the tackle, but it doesn't really work. But he gets a handball back. He gets on the forward. He plays on. Runs to 45. And kicks the goal. Equalises again. Ball back in the middle. What an exciting game we've got here today. Bell Chambers with the tap down. And Kirsten then should be able to pick up the ball. Number five. He gets tackled immediately. He raised one. Oh, he handballs inside the board. He's done a hurt. Done a hurt. Done a hurt. Done a Oh, he drops the ball cleverly. And now he's going to run onto a 29. Don't know his name. Number two. Still don't know his name. Number 36. Don't know his name. Kicks it outside of the board. Really. Rang out. Number 23. Lobe. Now he's got to try and bar the target down the ground. Kicks a bang and ball to a one on one. Essen the player run away from the ball. Not sure what he's doing now. Port Adelaide got five inside the 50. They got five one on ones. Five one on ones. Two minutes ago. 12 to 12. He's going to get a kick inside the ball. It's a two one on one. Essen punch it out of the defensive line now. Number 26 is going to get it. Nobody's there, but nobody's there, but nobody's there. Kicks it outside the ball. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. Essen the player to the ball. Number 20. We got to the mark. Now he's going to come in. I'm losing well. I'm getting light headed. Bang it in the middle. Tap down. Grabbed it. And now he's got a fucking chance. Do it. Bang it in the middle. Tap down. Grabbed it. And now he's got a fucking dog. What? I don't know. So number 13 has a chance here, 16 metres out. Kicks it in the forward 50. Poor play didn't put up the challenge. Who's that number 12? And Dano's going to have a shot from about 20 metres out to reclaim front. 50 seconds to go. This will be for four straight. Yes, it is. Seven goals in a quarter. Essendon have fucked it. Heppel. Going to have a chance to kick inside the board. Carlo. He kicked 14 goals in a game once. And this is a chance for a two-goal buffer. And he's got it. Essendon get two unanswered. Bundling ball out the defensive line. Bombers player's got to pick it up, and he does. And he took way too bloody long. Now he's got a chance to kick inside the 50. He's got about four in there. Five in there now. He's got five inside the 50. Goes to the free man, Bill Chambers. Kick the first goal of the game. Can he kick the latest goal of the game? Yes, he can. And the Bombers have got six straight. This is really not good. Really not good. And that's the worst kicker out of the defensive line I've ever seen. Port Adelaide should be punished for it, and he's missed it. Port and Desperado need a go with 2 minutes 18 on the clock. 
Got to kick it inside the forward 50, Jones. And he does. And who's this? It's number nine. It's Arn Gray. So from about 47 metres out. Kicks on the way there. That looks brilliant. That's a beautiful goal. And they get a desperate one. Born Adelaide is one goal the difference. I think I just heard a bomb go off in my neighbourhood. With 43 seconds to go to tie it all up. If he misses from here, it's poor. <gasps> He's missed it. He's poor. Well, I'll tell you what, Essendon would love a goal in this last half a minute. Yeah, they would, Gamo. 23 seconds to go, and this could be what's happening. Kick inside the forward 50. And this could put me up to an 11 point lead with the Bombies. Carlisle, the 14 goal man in one match, kicks on the way. That's straight through the middle. And the Bombers have an 11 point lead at half time. So, can the Bombers get a fast start in this quarter? They already lead by 11 points. Kick inside the forward 50. That's a beauty. No one was on him. Well, you've got to say that's poor defending. Yeah, you're right, Gamo. And that's the first goal of this third quarter. And it could be a crucial one. Essendon looking for a goal. Kicks it inside the forward to kick. Well, I'd hate to say it to poor fans, but this could be the sealer if he gets it. And he's got it. Wow. They've kicked a lot of unanswered goals, Essendon. So it's an even four goals the difference with three minutes to go. Port need a goal. Oh, that was almost a speaking McMillan. That's a terrible tap. Evades one, drop the ball. That's got to be holding the ball. Ass and a play. It's a ball! That one's ball. Umpire realised it the first time and thought, well, I've got to give this one up or I'm going to be sacked. And now the Bombers are going to go. Oh, it's a point for me. Poor player went away from the Essendon the player. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. And this is going to be a 30-point margin with a 1 minute and 34 seconds to go on the clock. Yes, it is. And I'm calling it early. The Bombers are going to win the first qualifying final. So Port desperately need a goal here. With a minute 20 to go. Plays on. Kicks it inside the 50 and 50 and now they've found a target. Now they've found a target and now he needs to kick a goal. With a minute 10 to go. Oh my god, he has shanked that. Shanked it like he shanked his hair. Port just have to get a goal from this play with 30 seconds to go. They just have to. They just have to. There's no other option for them. They have to do it or they are going to lose the game. They are going to have to do something here. Essendon have had a really good quarter kick inside the ball. He shoes has marked it. And he has to kick the goal if there are any chance of tr trying to draw this game at least. 20 metres out and he's missed it. Port of loss. That's the shittest kick I think I've ever seen in my life. So the last quarter. Bounce is imminent. Bounce is now. Port need to kick five goals if there are any chance of winning the game. And that's a good start. Are holding the ball against Heath Hocking. Four minutes and 50 to go on the board. Porter losing by 29 points to the margin. And now he's kicked it to Big Mouth Cane Corns with 4.44 on the clock. 65 to 36. 29 points of difference. Kicks it inside the 4.50 to nobody. How's it going to bounce? It's going to bounce at right angles, but the SM is going to be out of the fence. And now they're under pressure. Ball! Against D Fletcher. And he has to kick it from here. He's about 15 metres out. There's no way you can miss. And that's a beautiful start for Port Adelaide. They get the first goal of the last corner. So Bombers have fucked it. Courtney Dempsey has been caught holding the ball at 23 points. The difference. That's a beautiful kick out to Wingard. 250 on the board. He's got about five inside the forward 50. Six inside the forward 50. And he goes to West of Shaggy Hair Man. He's an unreliable kick. Well, he can go to the goal square. He's got a one-on-one -on -one there. He didn't need to, because he kicked a goal. Two minute warning on the Tissot clock. It's 16 points of difference. If Essendon didn't get a goal here, you think it's all over. You think it's all over. Carlisle number 22 to make it 22 points of difference. Well, the stage is set for him, and he's missed it. Well, look, three goals in a minute, 45 seconds. We've seen it been done before. We've seen it been done before. It's definitely possible from a Port Adelaide standpoint. Yeah, well, they could win it all by one point. They need to hurry the hell up if they're going to want to win this game, Port Adelaide, or they're going to be risking going out in the semi-finals. Essendon, you probably think about themselves their grand preliminary final position. Well, you probably have, but it's not all over. Port Adelaide kicks on the floor to Mumphreys. He's got to go, 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 go. He's got to get his go boots on, and he's got to kick a goal. Well, here we go. He's directly in front, about 40 metres out. Can he kick the goal? Let's keep Port Adelaide in the game. He's missed it, and he's messed it up. Yeah, the fans aren't going to be happy about him. I reckon Essendon have just about won this game. So nine seconds to go. It's going to be all over for Port. They're going to lose. 
That's going to be hell on the ball, but it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Essendon have gotten themselves into a preliminary final. Port are risking themselves in a semi-final. Essendon run away with this. First goal of Brian Thunder by 22 the points. Their fans are happy. To win the premiership play. Our boys who play this grand old game are always striving for glory and fame. See the bombers fly up, up. We are the teams they don't fear They all try their best But they can't get near As the farmers fly up Yeah.